Man, 2020 has been one hell of a rough start. How's it going everybody? My name is Armando and welcome back to another video guys. So guys, this is one of those videos where I kind of am trying to switch it up a bit on my channel. Don't get me wrong, I'm still a gaming channel. I'm still going to upload some different tier or anything that I find interesting like horror or action, but you know, once in a while, I'm going to want to tell you guys an interesting story that happens. You know, nothing boring. Like, for example, if I say, yes, I want you to work. I got Starbucks. You know, none of that. You know, none of that stupid stuff. You know, for example, the one I'm giving out today is what basically happened with me and my car. What are the damages? What happened? And, you know, la di la di la You know, stories like that. Because I know everybody loves those kind of stories. You know, they want to see other people's misfortunes, unfortunately. But, hey, I don't mind. Uh, you know, I always like telling these stories to people. You know, crazy stuff that's happened to me. I have so many drunk stories. Uh, crazy stories with chicks you know if you guys want to keep hearing some more of these stories just leave a like comment and subscribe and of course without a doubt in my mind i'm gonna keep uploading these funny uh stories so yeah guys right into the topic at hand as many of you guys may know or not many only the people that follow me on instagram i own a 2018 camaro all right it's this beautiful white camaro with black stripes black wheels and i found this camaro back in 2018 again 2018 camaro and i said wow you know, what a beautiful car. You know, a, a Camaro was always my dream car ever since I was in middle school. You know, I when I first saw one of, you know, up close or in pictures, honestly, it just looked gorgeous. The grill, the lights, the, the way it just looked so aggressive, you know. Don't get me wrong, the Mustang was more or less still favorite among, you know, my age group. But, you know, something about the Camaro just, just caught my eye, you know. I, it, it just looked beautiful. So... You know, after it was my birthday, I kind of wanted to get a new car because at the time I owned a 2007 BMW X5 with 105,000 miles. And I knew eventually it's going to break down. So I figured, you know what, I might as well get a brand new car, give this one to my sister and, you know, pay this one off monthly, you know, finance it. Because if I find a Camaro, I'm going to finance it and keep it forever. So, of course, I find one about 40 minutes from my house, 50 minutes. It's about 20 miles away. And it was a 2018 Camaro RS color white with black stripe with only 2,000 miles they wanted $28,000 for it and I thought wow I hit the jackpot so I got it I'm financing it and insurance is 110 you know payments ain't that bad and I thought I'm the luckiest guy in the world time skip to 2019 of October okay so something happened between October through December I wasn't able to work for whatever reason you know legal status and whatever and basically what happened was during those two months i wasn't able to pay the monthly parking so where i live guys we have a huge parking space and i pay monthly parking for that you know so basically i put my car there i don't have a garage sorry i don't have a garage so i pay for that and i will always put it to where i can see it from my window and you know i did that for like the year and four months until you know october where i was unable to pay for the monthly parking so then one day you know i park it where you know you don't have to put any coin in the meter you know none of those stuff and I kind of had a bad feeling about it because not too long ago there was a neighbor that had a you know pretty old, cool car as well. I think it was a Mazda WRX or whatever, or a Subaru, and he had it there for two to three days. And one day, me and my mom go outside to go get some grocery stores, and we see this guy's car with two pop tires just chilling there. And I was like, my God, why did they do that to him? You know, my neighbors around me are scumbags. They're pieces of shit. I hate them all. They can go suck. The all right, <laughs> screw monetization at this point. I just kind of let that out because I really hate my neighbors. Back to the story at hand, during, uh, during around October through December, I was unable to pay for the monthly fee and I parked it where the guy had, not the same parking spot, but around that area. And I figured, you know what, I'm gonna leave it there for a week or four days. And I knew that was a bad idea. I had this gut feeling. And then one day I went outside to move my car because the sweeper is coming every Friday around one to three, you have to move it because you know, now you're gonna get an $80, $80 ticket. I didn't want that. So I go outside, I'm gonna move it, and I go to the driver's side, and I see, you know, I'm gonna put a video here. I see a dent, a scrape, the front of the fender, you know, got kind of caved in. The driver's side door, again, had a dent in it. It was pretty bad, not too bad, but it was bad. I knew it was gonna be an expensive fix, and I said, I knew it. 
I knew this was gonna happen and I just accepted it. I said, you know what, I'm broke as hell. I think I had like 20 bucks to my name at that point. <laughs> and I said, when I go back to work, I'm just gonna work hard just to fix the car. And, and uh, I was also on that credit card and it was just a horrible biz. So I said, whatever, you know, I'll pay for this eventually. And I, I was really pissed off, all right? I'm, you know, I got over it now, I fixed my car. Uh, we're gonna get you that soon. And yeah, it just, it just sucks. My neighbors suck, they suck. They can go to hell and ride and for all I care. So like I said, I finally paid off my debt. I paid off my credit cards, my debit cards, my bills, everything. I was chilling. I was I was about to save up a thousand this month just from working. And then, you know, again, time skip again to Saturday. I'm a little late to work. I have to be at work at 12. And my job is about 28 minutes without traffic, 26 minutes. And I left my house like around 11.30, 32. So I was like, damn, I got a dip. So, you know, turn on my car, boom, 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 let's go, we're going. So granted, even though I do have a Camaro, I barely floor it, because I did get pulled over one time, and that kind of sucked, so I said, you know what, it's not worth ruining my license, you know, trying to have fun, I'm just going to drive responsibly. So again, I'm going to hit the highway soon, and I basically am going 60, 65, and a 50, and a little bad, you know, I'm a little late, but, <laughs> but uh, again, uh, and I see this truck in front of me, you know, so it's, it's a small truck, not a semi truck, nothing huge. It's, you know, those trucks that many companies use, they use that to get their produce around, you know, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. And, you know, in particular, this truck looked a little weird. It looked like it was rotting. It was black, but I, I didn't think too much of it. You know, I'm thinking, oh, man, I got to get out of the way because I'm going to be late for work. So I, I look, I look to my side, you know, looking at my mirror, my, my rear view mirror, trying to see if there's anybody next to me. And but, um, you know, switch lanes. And when I look back. I see this piece of metal fall off from the top of the truck. It's flying, all right, granted, it's flying in the middle of the road. And then it was too late, you know? In the time that I saw it, I think I had like a second to react, you know? Either I A, hit the brakes as hard as I can and risk an accident from behind me, B, again, try to surf, risk another, risk another accident, or C, just take the hit. So I went with C, I took the hit. That thing, you know, I was going 65 at the time. That thing just, I felt it, it hit my lower bumper, and I'm just like, damn. So I pull over, and I, to, you know, to kind of see the damage, how bad it was, and I figure, you know, I have to take this to the body shop now, it's gonna cost me a pretty penny, but, you know, I'm just thinking cosmetic damage, you know? So I look at the piece of metal, it's around, it's around this big, you know, about this wide, I think, and it's about th this thick. So, you know, easily, I'm kind of glad it hit the bumper, because it could have been worse. If it would have, you know, flew to the windshield, I would have been headless or just cut in half. So I'm, you know, I'm grateful that it hit the car instead, but still, it still hurt my pockets. <laughs> but again, I took off the piece of metal from the lower bumper and it just cut through the bumper, dude. I'm thinking like, you know, again, think about it this big, this wide. I think only a bit of this much was sticking out, you know, so I had to really, really pull out, pull it off. So I'm thinking, damn, you know, it cut through it, whatever. So I still decided to go to work. I'm thinking I'm going to fix this later on. I'm going to tell my parents we're going to freaking find the body shop guy. And I'm going to, again, pay a pretty penny for him. So I'm going to work thinking I still have time. And I start hearing honks around me. All right, and People are honking at me. I'm thinking, what the hell is going on? Am I going too slow? Am I going too fast? Am I being a dick driver? No, that wasn't the case. When I looked around me, I shit you not, guys. I see white smoke everywhere. And I'm thinking, is that me? And I start smelling a sweet smell from the air vents. And then the heat from my air conditioner goes away. It's now blowing cold air. And I'm freaking out. I'm like, what? What's going on? So thankfully, I was near my job. So I just pull into the parking lot and I park my car. I turn off the car immediately because the gauge, temperature, ga temperature gauge was from here to here now. And I just turn that thing off. So I get out. I'm looking at the damage and I look further inside the, you know, where the, where the piece of metal has cut in and I see the radiator has been dented in it. it cut through the radiator and I'm guessing it's, you know, since the, since the heat wasn't working, it destroyed the condenser, the air condenser as well. And now I'm here stuck at my job and I can't do anything. So I either had again, two choices, either go to work or fix my car. Obviously I fixed my car and I called the Chevrolet dealer, you know, I had something called OnStar, I press SOX. SOX. I press SOS and the tow basically came up, took me to the Chevrolet dealer, thank thankfully for free, and I had them inspect the car. Unfortunately though, the worker in front told me they were unable to tell me until Monday because that's when their workers are there, I guess, or mechanics. So I had to wait, you know, nervously for two days. I was bummed out. I still had to go to work. So come Monday, I call them around 9 a.m. thinking, ah oh, man, you know, I knew it was going to cost me a pretty penny again. So I call them and they said they still haven't found someone to check it out. They're going to call me as soon as they can. And around three hours later, 
uh, they called me and they said, listen, you might as well get your insurance on this because your damage is really heavy. And I'm thinking, oh, man, like, how bad is it? He's like, first of all, the, the front bumper is uh, is totally cut up. The lo the black grill, you know, so basically the bumper is one piece and then and the, on the lower bumper there's this black grill just to give it a bit more, um, you know, a bit more aggressiveness. And he said that shot, the radiator is destroyed, the condenser doesn't work anymore. He's like, yeah, this is really expensive. It's going to cost you in just parts alone $2,000. We're not even counting labor at this point. $2,000 for just parts. And I was just like, damn like this is bad but obviously if you know if you own a car you never bring it back to your dealership because dealerships do just that they kind of take advantage of every consumer they can get you know it's a business you know they'll charge whatever they want for their parts and charge whatever they want for the labor you know at the end of the day dealerships don't make money from the car sales they make it from the mechanics from the repairs so i understood that so i said listen just leave the car there i'm gonna call my insurance blah 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 but the thing with me guys is that i hate calling the insurance i know it's a stupid thing to do you should always call your insurance in these predicaments but the reason why i don't call my insurance is because i'm paying 110 a month for like full coverage and i didn't want to mess with that and if i would have reported that i'm 22 if i would have reported that under the under my uh, insurance they'll probably look at me like oh he had his accidents it's a camaro you know my insurance might go from 110 to 450 500 so i said no nah, i'm not risking that thankfully i had some money saved up so and my dad knows so luckily my dad knows a, a buddy of his that he has known throughout his whole life 10 12 years i'm thinking and he calls him and then the guy's name is freddie pretty awesome guy you know i know him as well since i was young my dad always took his suburbans you know he, he's a limousine driver so, so anything that went wrong with his cars he took to him and he always gave him a great deal and he did fantastic you know work on it finally the tow truck gets to freddie you know the leadership in you know the body shop freddie looks at it and he starts examining and he says, yeah, this is going to be very expensive. You know, I'm going to give you more or less a decent deal that I can, but it's going to cost a pretty penny. I knew that. So he says, all in all, he's looking at the the front bumper is 650. The lower grill is 370. The radiator is 260. The air condenser is 190. So you can tell <laughs> it's getting really pricey on top of the paint. Because, you know, when you buy a front bumper or anything for that matter, it doesn't come white. They have to paint it. So I have to pay for the paint the labor and he gave me an estimate of $2,500 but you know there's at least a light at the end of the tunnel my dad mentioned the little things on the door and the front fender and he, you know again really awesome guy my dad has known him for 12 years and he says you know what man I feel bad for your son and you've been my client for so long I'll charge you only a hundred dollars to fix these damages a hundred dollars per each so hundred dollars for the door a hundred dollars for the front fender so as you can tell, I was ecstatic because usually when you go get those damages, you know, repaired, they're like six hundred dollars. Do they gotta take out the damage? They gotta stand it. They gotta repaint it. They gotta do all that stuff. So the fact that he told me a hundred bucks each, that's where the twenty five hundred dollars came from. So all in all, it was a very very expensive repair. Again, do I need a car like this? No. Did what happened to me sucked? Of course. You know the chances of a piece of metal coming off a car or or truck and the chance of it hitting you. It's like one in a million. It was just meant for me, you know? I feel like sometimes things are just meant for you to put you in a place where, you know, you just have to push through. But, you know, thankfully, though, Freddie did it. He did it like in two, three days. He got it done, blah, bloom, blah, bleem. And the car came out, you know, fantastic, as you can tell from this video here. It looks like nothing has ever happened to it. That damage from the lower bumper, the grill, everything was just gone. Radiators was working perfectly. Honestly, I'm kind of glad I fixed the radiator because back then, I don't know if it's something with the Camaros. Um, even though I turned off the 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 not the heater or the air conditioner, it will still blow hot air a lot. Even if with 80 degrees, it will blow off like this. If it was more like 100 degrees of hot air, so ever since he did that, it doesn't do that anymore. So I turned it off, and you know, it stops blowing air. So I'm kind of thankful he fixed it, I guess, but. Did a great job. The car looks great. I just have to stick on this RS badge. That's for the grill. I mean, unfortunately, it fell off. He wasn't able to, to glue it on. So it's whatever. But again, it just sucks that the damage that happened to it wasn't because of me of being reckless. It's not like I'm going a hundred on, on a on a 25 mile an hour going crazy and breaking every kind of law. You know, it's not like I'm going over curbs just destroying my bumper. Or, you know, this happened because again, misfortunes. Neighbor hits my side door and my front fender. And the truck out of nowhere just 
piece of metal strikes the lower bumper and just destroys the living hell out of my car so did i get lucky with this one honestly i want to say yes because again i probably would have you know i probably could have panicked hit the brakes hit someone else around me or you know if my, you know that piece of metal could have hit the front of the top bumper causing even more damage probably hitting the lights or the, the lower daylight running lights you know overall $2,500 for this type of damage I can consider myself pretty lucky you know again I'm glad I know people that my dad knows for example this body shop guy he does amazing work and honestly if it wasn't for him I probably would have been paying like $4,000 just for this damage you know because again the Chevrolet dealer did say you're looking at in just parts $2,000 we're not even including labor so yeah F them dealerships, you know, if I'm going to go to a dealership, it's just for an oil change. They gave for 60 bucks, 50 bucks, they changed my oil, they rotated my tires and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, guys, what did I learn from all this mess? Uh, be careful on the road, you know, you can have a nice, beautiful Audi R8 Lamborghini, your dream car, basically. And a guy texting or driving or like this happened, this truck can just destroy your car in a second. You know, that car that you worked so hard for can be gone, can be taken from you in the span of one day or not even one day in the span of one second so keep your eyes on the road you know make sure the people you're driving around are safe drivers you know there's some some occasions where i see some people behind me that are driving so fast you know they might be going to work they might be angry or they might be drunk so i always kind of switch lanes let them go through because honestly i don't want to be in that situation where this guy hits me or just makes me you know lose control of my car so yeah guys that's the story of the worst Thing that could, that has happened to me so far in 2020 uh as of now i'm broke <laughs> you know I, if you see a lot of ads because i'm trying to make at least a little penny from you know a bit of penny from youtube adsense it doesn't pay much trust me it really doesn't but uh yeah guys if you guys enjoyed the video and you guys want to hear any other any other stories like my drunk stories or you know crazy stories i've had with chicks or just anything crazy for example i uh, just leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one it's Armando signing off i'll see you guys in the next one